everyone. This is Re with Cute Many Things. I'm coming at you with um, how I create my inserts. Um, so there's a lot of prep to making inserts, especially for Traveler's Notebooks, or if you're making it for your ring style binder uh, or planner, and then also just depending on what kind of planner you have, um, it takes time to print and cut and put together. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you the things I do to start making my um, Traveler's Notebook inserts. What I want to do is um, pre-make the inserts. That way I could just use, um, you know, print the dashboard covers whenever I'm making it. So I want to have these in hand. So I did um, spend, I've been looking online, who has the best inserts, things that I like. I that the style I like to include. So I just went to, um, it is Jesenia Printables on Etsy and I'll have her link down below. And I just love the way how simple it is, but this one, I wanted to show you the ones I made. Um, I did purchase, um, her bow lettering. Um, it's extra covers that you could purchase. I believe they were like $5 for like 25 um, different sheets with different labels. Um, and what I like about it is, you know, if you download printables, you have them forever. Um, so I purchased the um, bow ones because I want to cover all of my inserts with this. Sorry for the lighting. My light is like flickering for some reason. And then of course, this one was just a bow notes insert. And I think I have this upside down now that I just, I just now noticed that. Yay. <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix that. But as you can see, it's dot grid um, and it has bows in there. You could easily turn this into a weekly um, or bullet journaling. I use this as notes, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm sure you could use it for something like that. So I wanted to show you my process on how to make these. Um, I did print out lists and these are my first time ever using, um, Jesenia principle, our print principles, printables. Um, so I'm excited to include these in my traveler's notebook. Now this is, um, the personal size that I purchased. Um, I usually print or when I do my traveler's notebooks, my printables are this big. So as you can see, the inner part is almost the same size um, if I was to cut around this. So I guess, I don't know if I'm just making my printables a little bit taller, but I'm excited to try out um, this size, making a traveler's notebook, I think it actually would help me out more, um, not only with the paper, but also whenever I'm making, um, personalized, um, books, um, I feel like when I need to put a picture in it, the, this size, it's really hard to fit that without having a border or something like that. So I'm excited to see what the traveler's notebook, um, looks like in this size. And if you're wondering, um, the size of this insert is about almost four inches. Well, about three and I don't know how to do that. It's like almost four inches and then about eight and a half inches tall. So I'm excited to see this. I'm probably going to make the notebook itself about four and a, a four. 0.25 maybe and about oh I'm sorry that wasn't that's about six a little bit over six and a half inches tall so probably do this about seven and seven point two five um in height when I make the actual binder itself um, I just like the binder to be a little bit taller. So these are the ones I did. I'm going to um, do about two more. So I have a shopping list one that I just printed out. And this one's super cute. I love the lettering. And all it is is a shopping list. So if you're doing grocery shopping, Christmas shopping, whatever it is. Um, so I'm going to do this insert and I'll speed through how it is, the process. Now, of course, you need to print your inserts. Um, 
you could pretty much print it on any kind of paper, but I like to use a little bit thicker um, brand of paper. This brand of paper is, I want to say it's 30 in weight and it's very smooth. I love the way it writes and then also when you stick stickers on it. Um, so a little bit thicker. I like it. Um, I've been using this paper on all my inserts. So um, you'll need to print out your inserts first. I would print all of them. You're going to need some kind of cutting mat. Um, I use a, a blade to cut all the papers to size after um, I trim them down. You'll need a stapler. Now a lot of people like to use the the long stapler because it's hard to stick your paper in there and actually I'm super excited because this might actually fit to where I don't have to do my process but I'm going to show you the way I do it and then you'll need some kind of metal ruler or straight edge so that you can cut because when you fold papers up even if you cut them all down to the same size the the length of it when you close it it's not going to be the same so you want to trim those pieces off and get them that flat edge so what i'm going to do is go ahead and show you what i do um, from the start after printing um, and i am going to use a paper trimmer hopefully i'll capture this but yep we'll see you and you'll see how i do this Okay, I have my cuts here all down to size. It brings some lighting down here. All right, so first, what I'm going to do is go ahead and fold my inserts. I usually fold two papers at a time. If you have a bone bone folder that works really good or whatever you have, flat edge, some people use um, the back end of their scissors. And then of course you want to fold this as straight as possible, I think. I was off on my cuts here. Got everything folded. 
And now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and as you can see, the paper is over and um, a little bit because when you fold it, the paper is a lot thicker. It's not all the way, you know, going to be flushed in there. So because, um, of course, of the, the insert that you're making. So what I do is I measure, you know, kind of put my um, ruler to the cover of the um, paper and then I'm going to use my blade to trim all that piece off. So that's what I'm going to do now. now that we have our book all oops miss a piece all do the same size guys just trim that little piece off now it's time to staple our booklet so you could do this um, if your um, stapler can fit mine is just a little bit too shy uh, to reach the middle end I probably could um, you know fit it but I don't want to chance it I like to do it to where my staple is flat on the outside of the book just so that no one nicks or anything like that you usually when you have travelers notebooks you will have um, a dashboard on top of it so it shouldn't be a problem but I don't want any papers or if you use vellum or acetate to get scratched up, especially when you're um, decorating your planner. So I will put the staple flat part on the outside. So what I do is I have my cutting mat and usually it's, you know, easy for me to staple using this cutting mat. I open up my stapler like this and I kind of make my marks. Um, the great thing is sometimes the, um, staple will go all the way through and I'll have no problems but usually I'm just making the hole and then I'll take a really you know um, a straight staple and just kind of fit it through there um, so what I do is I just kind of you know do a little press I don't do it slow I do it really fast so that the staple can pierce through all the paper and that's what I want is I'm trying to get the holes in there that way I can push um, just a straight um, staple through that so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll speed through the rest <laughs> So as you can see, it's taking me a few tries and it's not piercing through. Um, so of course when I'm recording, it doesn't want to do it. I'm getting um, really messed up staples and it's not wanting to go through the second hole. Um, I think now it's fixed. So what I do is I pop out some good a good staple and then with the holes that I'm making I will put that through and try to pierce through the paper 
Um, there's probably an easier way to do this. Um, some people invest in buying the bigger stapler, not me. Um, I'll just figure it out. I've made many inserts like this. And of course, the one I want to record, it doesn't want to go through. <laughs> so I'm going to keep trying here and hopefully we can get a finished product. All right, finally got one through. This one actually went through all the way. So I'll flip it over and I'll use my scissors or any kind of metal straight edge that you have and fold those in. And I kind of give it a little tap to get into the paper. Now let's try the other one. I did flip my mat over. Thought that would help. Nope. And I think I have a good enough hole there to put this through. And there you go. Fit it through. Now I'm just going to fold that in. And give it a tap into the paper. There you go. And there you have it, your insert. And what I usually do is I run my bone folder or my little straight edge over there just to crease that bind and there's your insert. So that's how I make it. I know it's a little extreme and it does take a lot of staples. So this is all the staples that I have literally went through just to try to do this. Um, sometimes it works really easy. And then to, of course that I'm recording, it's trying to be really stubborn, um, but real easy to use. Now I'm going to be doing an insert on finances, of course, but I hope this helped you, especially if you want to make your own traveler's notebook inserts, um, really easy. And I'm excited to have these on hand. Um, so don't have to keep printing because I think that making a traveler's notebook, the tedious part is the inserts. And so having them pre-made, I'm going to love. So check out Yesenia's printables. You can also go on, um, there's so many on Etsy. Just look up um, inserts or traveler's notebook inserts. You can also find some on Pinterest. But the ones that do sell these guys make it easy for you to print and cut. And that's what I'm looking for. Because if you go on, I noticed if you go on um, Pinterest, you have to resize a lot. And you could waste a lot of ink and paper trying to get it to match your size. So these were super easy. I literally purchased the downloads, downloaded them, and then done. And just cut. So, awesome. Well, thank you for watching. Give this video a like. Please subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye.